Give it to me. Oh yeah. These are one of my favorite videos to film, you guys. Swatch and sip. If you're like, what the heck is that, Morgan? You sound crazy. I am crazy. In my free time, I like to sit down in my room alone and cover my body in the prettiest, glitteriest eyeshadows that are in my collection. So that's when I had this crazy idea like a year ago. I'm just gonna do it in, on camera. <laughs> so for most of my swatch and sips, I tend to do mostly, not always, but mostly indie brands because indie does it best with the glitteriest, shimmeriest, creamiest eyeshadows, and that's what we all want to see. Today is nothing short of that. Cleonon, I have their Dragon Fruit collection to swatch for you guys. They reached out to me and sent this to me in PR. I was flabbergasted, I couldn't believe it. I was like, me? <laughs> because I view Cleonon as like the creme de la creme of indie shadows. You know, they is pricey, so I don't own a ton, but the ones that I do own, they're so, special. So when they reached out to send this to me, I was like, yes, yes, yes. I'm so excited. So and they've been teasing this collection for a while and I've got to say, it's stunning. It is what is on my eyes. I will have the tutorial for this look at the end of the swatch portion. But let's get into it. You guys saw me make my mediocre iced coffee, which truthfully has too much milk. Not my best work. Grab a drink and let's swatch some beautiful multi-chromatic eyeshadows. So this one is really exciting because this is a collaboration collection with Miss Emily Violet Marie. I'm gonna leave her launch video down below for you guys to take a look. She explains how the collection came about, why she chose certain colors the way that they were. She shows all of the packaging and most importantly, she has all of the details about this palette and collection in that video. So I will link that down below. So congratulations to you, Emily. This is such a fun palette for the summer. Now the collection itself is going to launch April 27th at 3 p.m. Eastern time. So the launch is coming up. Let me quickly show you what is in the collection that I'm not going to swatch. So it's a dragon fruit themed collection. There's this cute little makeup pouch and the attention to detail in this collection, you guys, is so crazy. Love this little bag. I normally don't keep little bags like these, but I'm keeping this. There also is a brush set. Look at what it comes in. So cute, and you pop it open, and I have the brushes on the table because I use them for my look today. But side note, these brushes are also amazing. Super soft bristles, and they worked really good with the Clean On formula. So you'll see these in use in my tutorial. Also, we have some nail polishes. Now, I can't swatch these for you guys because I don't do my nails, <laughs> but these look super duper beautiful. So when I need to paint my toes, I will paint my toes these, but we have two beautiful multi-chrome nail polishes. This is Dragon Teeny. This is Patea. Really beautiful. And then we have two highlights and then the eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna bring you in. Hello, probably closer than you want to be, and let's get to swatching. So the first items that I'm going to swatch are, they call these the fruit lighters. How cute is the packaging? I like that it's a little see-through, kind of Y2K-ish. And then these are the back details if you need. So we'll start off with Patea. Now this one they said would look the best on medium to deep skin tones, and I agree with that. For me, this is definitely just an eyelid shade, but let's... Take a look, oh my goodness. So this is like a purple to green shift, a lilac I would say. This is right up my alley. I wish I had put it on my eye today. That would have been beautiful. It feels super creamy. Okay, are you ready? You're gonna get a lot of ooh, ah, oh from me because ugh, clean on does the best, look at that. And there isn't any glitter flakes in here, which I like since this can be used on the face, but that is so stunning and you can see the shift right there. Okay, um, beautiful. This is gonna be stunning on the eyelid. So next we have Tropico, which is actually what I'm wearing on my face right now. The gold shift is a little strong for me in terms of loving this as a highlight, but it still is doable and it's so beautiful. The consistency of these is super duper creamy. There we go. I mean, these are looking right. I like this. And in person, the gold shift is a little stronger as well. Okay, so those are the fruit lighters. 
Let's get into the Dragon Fruit Palette in case you want us to take a look at the packaging here. It is so fun, so summery. Here is the back, super neon. And then when you open it, it does have a mirror. There's a little bit of squeakiness in my palette, but nothing annoying. And then here is the eyeshadow palette. So we have two bigger pans, which I know some people are not going to like, but honestly, the two bigger pans are the most beautiful multi-chromatic shades, so I'm not that mad. <laughs> and you can see that this is a 13 pan eyeshadow palette. There aren't any mattes in here. There's some satins, there's some duochromes, some shimmers, and some multi-chromes. So let's just get digging in. I'm going to start off with bubbles right here. This, I can't quite put my finger on the description of this. It has like a bluish yellowish shift to it, which I'll show you in the swatch. Then we'll dig into Refresh and Strawberry Pear. I haven't used Strawberry Pear yet. But this one is definitely like a multi-chrome shade. Then the other two are more satiny. But the satins in here really aren't satins. I would say they're shimmers, but toned down. You know, it's a hybrid between a satin and a shimmer. So that's that bubbles right here. So this one is going to all be about that shift, which it has a very strong golden shift and some blue in it in certain lights. Then we have this shade right here, which is a little bit more satiny. I used it in my crease today. It was beautiful. And then strawberry pear I haven't yet used on my eye. But you can see how smooth they are applying. And I'm telling you, they apply equally as smooth on the eyelid. Let's get into the multi-chrome Dragon Teeny. Then the next multi-chrome is Infusion. This one is right up my alley. And uh, the sun is going down, so I didn't have time to look up the names, but this shade. <laughs> so here we are. We have two multi-chromes, then one more metallic kind of shade. This is a multi-chrome. Let's see. Ooh. Really, really stunning. This is why I do indie brands because mainstream, you could never. I'm sorry, but there's like a pink and gold shift in there. Gorgeous. Let's get into infusion next. Yes, my nail broke. Ignore that. <laughs> I so badly wanted to put this all over my lid today. It has like a pink shift to it as well. It just couldn't fit on my eye, but I'll get to it one day. I want it to be the main star of the show, but that's stunning. And then lastly, this one is also really, really beautiful. I used this one today in my look and it's stunning. Next three, we have Sweetened, which is a little bit more vibrant, exotic, and Prickly, which has some depth to it. I used a lot of Prickly today. All of these are more like a satiny metallic shade. Let's see. And I got little to no fallout with my look today, you guys. I was so impressed by that. You can see how smooth they're swatching. Even this dark purple, which normally dark purples like this swatch really flaky and inconsistent, but not this. So this part of the palette, really pinky and purpley. Do so you guys know this is right up my alley in terms of that? So fun. Take a sip. Now this last row is really where the fun begins. So this one is more like a satiny shade, and then we have Dragonfly, which has a little bit more oomph to it, and then we'll get into Fruit Fizz. Look how vibrant. You'll definitely have to stick around for the tutorial at the end, and you'll see really what these guys can do. Are you ready? Oh dang, it got blurry when I did that. That's so rude, but you can see how vibrant it is. This one is more of like a metallic shade, and then this dragonfly has more to it. It's a little bit more glimmery. It's a little bit more neon. You guys will have a lot of fun with this this summer. And then here is Peach Fizz, which is more on the duo chrome shade. <gasps> Did I grow hair on my arms? Huh. I like almost never have hair on my arms. That's very odd anyways. <laughs> Even over my hairy arm apparently, this is swatching really beautiful. Very last shade of today's video is Effervescent. Another multi-chrome, really flaky, kind of to the traditional way that indie brands do these style of shades. Mm-hmm. Super duper textured, really beautiful. I would say in person it has more of like a peachy shift to it, but absolutely stunning. Take a look, 
Minus these two, this is the entire palette. It's really fun. I found it really easy to create a look with. And then even the highlight shades, I feel like belong in this palette and in this collection. Which by the way, the palette itself is gonna be 59 US dollars, which for an indie brand, I think is a very good value. Let me turn the lights down even more because I really want you to be able to see all of the shifts. So yeah, this is a really good view. It's very, very dark in my camera right now. But how pretty! Ah, favorite videos to film, hands down. If you would like to see the palette and one of the highlighters in action, stay tuned. I'm gonna send you guys over to that right now. All right, guys, here we are. The first impressions of the application of this palette. I'm honestly floored. I'm telling you that already. This palette's amazing. <laughs> I did not expect it to be as amazing <laughs> as it is. So we're gonna start off with the shade Refresh right here, and I'm using the DF01 brush. So this one is more of that satiny formula that I was talking about where, you know, it's not multi-chromatic. It is a shimmer, but it's a little softer than most shimmers, but it's also more shimmery than most satins. So it's kind of in between those two. But what really surprised me is how easily and smooth this blends into the crease like butter. I was expecting because it's a shimmery, kind of shade for it to get a little messy, maybe not be quite as opaque. I mean, this, as you saw, almost blended itself, which is not something that typically happens with shades of these textures. Okay, and then we wanna go a little bit deeper, so I'm going into Sweetened with a DF02 brush, and I'm going to use that in the outer half of my crease. The shade is a little brighter. As you can see, it is more of that satiny shade, and once again, Really shocked at how easily these are blending out. Literally like butter, you guys. I don't know how else to describe it. I have a handful of Cleona shadows. They're all the really sparkly duo chrome, multi-chrome kind of shadows because that's what I'ma buy from Cleona. So trying this formula from them, whew, I think it's incredible. I'm gonna continue with the same brush. We're gonna deepen up the outer corner with Exotic right here. So I'm just gonna place that in the outer corner and all three of these shades look completely different on my eyelid, which is something if you watch me, you know that I really, really appreciate when all of the shades hold their own value and weight in the palette. So just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and mix Exotic and Sweetened. I'm gonna run that along my lower lash line, just like so. This brush is pretty awesome from the set, the DF05. We love a good small detailed brush, all my fellow gals with small eyes. And I'm going into Prickly right here, which is the darkest shade. And I'm just circling this in the outer corner. Really impressed at the lack of fallout that I'm getting, and once again, even if it's layering over other shadows, still blending out like butter, super easy to use. Also gonna run that along the outer half of my lower lash line, and we'll take it just into right before the pupil. I mean, this in of itself I thought was so pretty, and I was quite stumped. Like, what do I want to do now? Everything <laughs> looks so amazing. I want, there's so many options in terms of lid colors that are very confusing, but for the sake of trying, I decided to go for the greens. I'm gonna use the DF04 brush, another amazing brush in this collection. It has a lot of density to it, so you can really pick up the color. So I'm gonna go into this shade right here, which is more of a satin any color. It's like, what would you say, chartreuse? And I'm gonna put this on the inner half of my eyelid. And this brush is amazing for creating a faux cut crease. It really allows you to get precision with where you're laying the color down because I am too lazy to actually make the cut crease. So we're gonna do it lazy style today. And even though this is a satin shade, so this would be very beautiful in the crease for other looks, it's laying down a decent amount of pigment on the eyelid. I am having to layer it, but I'm okay with that. Especially since it is layering over these pinks and purples. That's really gorgeous. 
that in like the inner third of the lower lash line for me if you're recreating this look. Just like that to bring the whole look together. We're gonna go back to that brush, but I'm gonna go into the DF03 brush. And I had to use Dragonfly, of course, since this brush is less dense. You're gonna get a little bit of kickback from Dragonfly. But even though it's not that dense, I was impressed with how much opacity it laid down this color, right? So this is just going on the center of the lid. I'm even gonna take a little bit of my finger just to get it down. And then just to clean up the edges, I'm going back into the DF04 brush, kind of filling that color up here. Isn't this shade stunning too? And I think it's so fun against the pink and purple. And then get that in the center, of the lower lash line as well. And then I wanted a color that I thought would do a good job of fusing the green to the dark purple at the end. I was dying to use this color anyway, so we're going into Infusion, which is a multi-chrome shade. So it is a little bit on the messier side. So make sure you use your finger to come out, kind of warm it into the look. This is gonna be the bridge between the green and the dark purple, since it's kind of got like a yellow shift to it that will complement the green side, and it has a lavender shift to it, which will complement the purple side. And then to finish up the look, clean everything up, I'm going back into the super dark purple, prickly. We're just gonna bring that back to life out here. Last step for the inner corner highlight, we're going into bubbles, and I'm just gonna pop that right here. And this is how I got the look. I mean, it was so easy. I was worried because this is such a shiny, shiny palette, but the colors blended on with ease. I felt no need to dig into any mattes or any other palettes. So I'm really impressed by that. We're not done yet though. I did want to play with one of the fruit lighters here. Obviously one is not meant for my skin tone. That's gonna be Patea. This one is gonna have to be for my medium to deeper skin friends. And ooh, it would have made actually a great addition to my eye look today where I put infusion, but anyways. We're not gonna use that one. We're gonna use Tropico, which is like a pinky gold color. This is a highlight that Emily said she loves highlights that look like these. So I'm using the DF06 brush from this collection. Whew. For me, this is a little glittery, but for the vibe, wow, that's crazy. I think greenish yellow shift is a little intense for my boring self. <laughs> so for me, this is something that I would more so put on my eyelids, but it still is so fun and it ties together this look. I'm gonna put like a pinky blush on. I haven't yet done that and everything will just be chef's kiss, so. You guys have already seen the look, so you know what it looks like for the beginning half of this video, but I hope you enjoyed the tutorial portion because this look is stunning. So I hope you guys enjoyed this swatch and sip with me. This palette is incredible. Thank you so much to Cleonod for sending this over to me. Congratulations, Emily. I mean, I'm even shocked at how well this palette worked for me, especially considering there are no mattes. Everything worked out so beautifully. Really impressed. Such a stunning palette. So fun to play with. I feel really inspired. I cannot wait to create more looks with this palette. So let me know your thoughts below. Are you planning on picking this palette up? for anything from the collection at all. I don't know, I just feel like, again, Cleonon is just at the top of the top. Them creating these palettes, these collections, it was much more than I was expecting, so. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.